I have been following the attempt by the politically correct and left-leaning judiciary and media in the Netherlands to silence any and all legitimate criticism or inquiry of Islam through intimidation and the threat of prosecution as racism. It reminds me of the Alfred Dreyfus affair of the 19th century. What do you think? Your comparison of the two trials is very apt. Alfred Dreyfus was wrongfully accused with malice aforethought by the army and judiciary of treason when in fact he was totally innocent. His case was taken up by the writer Emile Zola who, in an editorial titled J'accuse, accused the army and politicians with gross miscarriage of justice. He ultimately won the freedom of Dreyfus and caused the fall of the French government at the time. Gert Wilders is the 21st century's Dreyfus affair. Yet once more, it is not Wilders who is actually on trial, but in fact and reality, it is the Dutch government, the Dutch authorities, and most important of all, Muhammad's Quran. Anyone with the minimum of righteousness and logic knows that Gert Wilders is innocent of all the charges falsely thrown at him. Every decent person appreciates that he's not a racist since he never once attacked Muslims, but always the doctrines of Muhammad and Islam as they are presented in his Quran. Islam is not a race. Islam is a concept. Islam means submission. That is, submission to the will of one God. Fitna, which Gert Wilders put together, represents only what Muhammad's Quran tells its followers to do. Fitna repeats the text of Muhammad's Quran. In fact, Fitna is about 17 minutes long, most of which was taken from a 2005 DVD documentary called Obsession, Radical Islam's War Against the West, of about 96 minutes in length. What Obsession contains is 10 times more devastating against the Quran and Muhammadan Islam than Fitna. No one demonstrated nor objected to it. Why Fitna? Why? Gert Wilders. Gert Wilders represents exactly what is required from politically incorrect leaders that are vitally needed in the West, extreme courage and an iron will. He is a serious threat to the current politically correct leftist politicians, academicians and media that are helping Muhammadan Islam to destroy Western cultures, beliefs and freedoms from within. Slowly, but now very perceptibly. Many ordinary men and women in the Western democracies are waking up to the nightmare of Muhammadan Islam in their midst. Although the politicians are denying and poo pooing the threat of the Islamization of Europe, the peoples of the West are seriously worried and are not buying so easily the deliberate lies and deceptions of their multiculturalist leaders. From the very beginning, it is obvious that the Dutch judiciary's accusations and methods of prosecution against Mr. Wilders are reminiscent of the Stalinist-type kangaroo trials. Ladies and gentlemen, believers and unbelieving kuffar, mark my words. Gert Wilders is not on trial. The Quran is on trial. The Dutch government is on trial. The Dutch judiciary is on trial not Gert Wilders. This trial will be as resounding a defeat for Muhammad's Quran, for the Dutch government and the Dutch judiciary as the Dreyfus one was in France. For the first time ever, the virulent virus of the Quran will be put under a microscope where it truly belongs. This trial will reveal the true contents of Muhammad's Quran. It will open a Pandora's box and will expose to all of humanity the Qur'an's mendacities, deceptions, and plagiarism. For the first time, the Qur'an will be investigated in public to show it for what really is. A hate-mongering, war-mongering, misogynist, racist, and joyless cuddled belief system that could not possibly have been revealed by any omniscient, compassionate, and merciful divinity. This trial will also demonstrate the dissolute characteristics of Muhammad, his Sunnah, and his fundamentalist followers. It will conclusively prove 
that the so-called radical or extremist Muslims are actually neither radical nor extremist, but are the normal, everyday jihadist ones whose hate-filled and contorted faces we watch with horror on TV from all over the globe. That the radical ones are in fact the extremely small minority who are not jihadists and who want to live and let live amongst us. That Mohammedan Muslims are not discriminated against, but on the contrary, it is they who discriminate against all other human beings, that is, all those who do not believe as they do. That the followers of Muhammad or Ummat Muhammad of 20% of humanity have been and are in a publicly declared state of total war against 80% of humanity who represent Ummat al-Kuffar or nation of infidels comprising all Christians, Buddhists, Hindus, Jews, Zoroastrians, Sikhs, Pagans, Atheists, Agnostics, etc. That if Western societies do not take immediate and appropriate measures to protect themselves, Muhammadan Islam will ultimately subjugate all of us and drag us into the cesspool of the Dark Ages where it already thrives. This trial will at last awaken most of otherwise ignorant Europeans, Americans, Indians, Chinese, Russians and others to the most frightening and nightmarish cult of Muhammadan Islam. The most satanic and evil cult belief system that has ever been insinuated into the consciousness of hundreds of millions of people in recorded history. This trial will turn out to be the worst mistake of Muhammadan Islam since 9-11. In conclusion, no matter what the Dutch judiciary will do to Gert Wilders, the Dutch people, the Europeans and others will learn in a very short period of time more about Muhammad's hideous cult belief system than under any other circumstance. Gert Wilders is in a win-win situation even if he goes to prison or is murdered because he would have achieved exactly what he always wanted, lifting the veil and revealing the true faces of Muhammad and Islam.